In this video, I want to take a look at the degree of curves and how to get your degree three or four or five or whatever in single span. Because plasticity does things a little bit differently than other surfacing apps that I've used. But we'll take a look at this real quick. In a previous video, I showed that if you wanted to create a degree three curve, you needed four points. So here we have a four point curve. And when it's selected, it says it's a degree three with a single span. So that's exactly what we'd want. But what if we wanted to do, say, a degree four single span curve? Well, if we try to do that same thing, so here we have three, four, five points. If we go down and check, we're at a degree three still with two spans now. And this should be a degree four curve. So we can't use the rebuild command because if I duplicate this, pull it up. So now let's run the rebuild on this. If we rebuild the curve, we go to points. And then, like I said, we wanted a degree four, so we need five points. And we do that. If we check it, we're at a degree three now with two spans which is exactly the same thing that it gave us before. So the rebuild won't work on that. If, on the other hand, if we raise the degree, now what we get, if we check it, is now we have a degree four, that's great, but we have three spans. So essentially what we need to do is we need to get rid of some of these control points in order to make this what we want. So if we delete two of the control points, now you can see we have a degree four single span, which is actually what we wanted. And all of our editing would work like normal. But again, this is the way we can get a degree four with a single span. And the same thing holds true with whether it's a degree five or whatever. Um, but I wanted to point that out because it's very different in here than it is in other apps. And I'll show you what I mean. So here we are in ZW3D. And if I invoke the spline command, you can see right here that I have a setting where I can set the degree. I can go three, four, five, whatever I want. So if I want to create a degree four curve and I know that I need five points, two, three, four, five. That's exactly what I have. Um, so it's easy to create something like that in an app that's dedicated towards being able to do surfacing. Now, this doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with plasticity. I'm sure that Nick's going to add that kind of functionality down the line, especially considering he wants the surfacing tools to be good. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. So in here, we have to do a little bit more work to get what we want, but at the end of the day, it's still possible. And I just wanted to show and point that out because I didn't point that out in the last video. I'm sorry for that. But I wanted to make sure that people understand that because one of the things that you get into is your primary surfaces in any surfacing model. All your primary surfaces, you really want to try to keep them single span surfaces um, because it'll be a lot easier to control um, things will be a lot cleaner. Um, there's a lot of different reasons, but well, that's it for another video. But anyhow, I just wanted to point that out in this video. And if this helped you, please hit the like and subscribe. And I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.